hello guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back again with another box braid tutorial this time i'm showing you two technique on how to braid short hair um, for box braids so right now i'm parting the hair and i'm just gonna tuck the rest of the hair away so she wants like a medium box braid part so i'm just parting the hair right now and then i'm gonna use the rubber bands to hold it together because her hair is so short uh, in order for it to last long i can easily grab it without the rubber bands but it's not gonna last as much as as long as using um the rubber bands uh, method so the rubber bands keep it in longer so it's not falling out after a couple of days and i also recommend this for anyone starting out um doing box braid i think this is like a beginner's um friendly method it's just so much easy um to do trust me So I'm just gonna take a little piece of hair and I'm gonna get my crochet uh, hook and I'm just gonna slide it into through the hair and I'm gonna pull the hair out so this way this also reduces the tension on our natural hair so that way it's easy to grip also for you and it also makes it um, look more natural so I'm just gonna do this process for the hair in the back as you can see she has a uh, hair in the front is a little bit longer so i'm just going to be doing the regular um, box braid for the ones in the middle and the one in the front you say i make you nervous a tragedy i'm a beautiful disaster a reckoning you wonder how i got this way you think i'm someone to be safe Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. You think I would look pretty On your arm once you cover up my bruises And battle scars But it always ends the same Can't bear the things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change Never change Asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Oh They say I should feel guilty And change my ways Leave and crumple bodies In my wakes where So delicate and so mundane and they keep coming like a so this is what we have so far you can oddly tell the difference between the regular and the crochet um, box braid <laughs>
to do the trimming part I'm doing that with my lighter and you can also use a scissors whichever one is easy for you but I just prefer the lighter because because it's faster and it also get the job done really well than the scissors. I, that's just what I think. And notes, I'm not burning a natural hair. A hair is already braided into the extension. That's why you need to braid tight when you're doing box braids. So the natural hair is not coming out. It's just the hair from the extension hair that I'm burning, not um, the regular hair. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules and imagine a utopia? Darling, I'm just so fed up with. So when you're done trimming, you're just gonna place the hands in hot water. Uh, it makes it silky and it also makes it look natural and you're not worrying about the braids um, coming apart within after a couple of days. So after placing in hot water, you wanna take your towel and be careful not to squeeze while you are drying the hair. So you're just gonna um, pull the hair in hot water and just use the towel to just drain it, I mean straight, so you are not squeezing the hair. That way it's not looking raggedy or stiff at the hands. <laughs> some mousse that also reduces the frizziness of their extension hair so for me i think for me if i'm the client i think this is will this will be my favorite part i mean after all the pulling and everything because it's just cold and it's just soothing let me know in the comment section what your favorite part is as a braider and as a client <laughs> After the most, I apply some God to the gel. This is optional. This is not necessary. It just makes it um, neater and just calms the braid as well. I like my bust braid looking as silky and as natural as possible. So you're just going to make sure all the product is in. I mean, I'm using your hands to rub it all in and you can also see here that the hands is not looking stiff like i said it's looking um silky and it looks not natural so right now i'm just uh, moisturizing the hair with um the olive oil sheen and you can use whatever moisturizer that you um that you use so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and you can style as desired so here is the finished look Thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial. It was helpful. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think and also share with your friends and family. My Facebook and Instagram account is at so that what one too. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.